morning, I contemplated making a photograph of this, a copy. But I think I'm just going to use it. I can't use everything I have already, so just use it. Don't try to save it. Yes, I have a little bit of a clipped wing here. Um, moved my camera, so hopefully that helps. Found this paper that I've got several years ago. I think this is Cavallini paper. <gasps> Look what's on the inside. I bought this several years ago. I just found it. Oh no, this is the um, store where my sister lives. It's called I Love Paris in California. It's a little gift shop. And I always go get something from there. And this is how they wrap everything. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. And I just, one year I bought this on a visit. And I'm sure that's Cavallini. So let's see if we can use some of that today. Then I found this that I just made out of washi tape. I got my Kelly Perky um, subscription for the month, which this month it's about planning. Every month she has a different theme. So there's numbers and days for planners. And this is the paper. She always sends some stickers and some letters. And then these big traveler's notebook size paper, heavy cardstock. But I might use one of these today. I don't know. I think I'm going to have enough stuff. I really kind of like this though for the books, bookshop, the Shakespeare bookshop. And then she wrapped it in this little bag and it says big plans. <laughs> she always has a cute little sticker. So I got to save that. Um, yes, I have clipped my wing. Actually, a couple weeks ago I fell and I think I jammed it. But repetitive motion is not my friend at the mo moment. And I think I've done too much repetitive motion with swiping. Normally it wouldn't bother me, but I think just the way I jammed my hand, it is. What is all this? Oh, and look what else I found in my people file. <laughs> and so it's bothering me quite a bit. So I got a splint that focuses on your thumb and this muscle right here is what I've hurt. It's not broken or anything. It just aggravatingly hurts. But the repetitive motion makes it worse. And I got this yesterday, put it on, and then that really hurt it. Keeping it in the position that it probably needs to stay in for quite a while really hurt it. So I took a pain pill last night. Not one of my mom's good ones, but I took a pain pill because I knew that we had to be at the hospital for uh, an MRI for her at 6.15 this morning, which is a good 40 minute drive. And my sister leaves tomorrow. I'm trying to just, I threw some stuff in here yesterday and I'm not organized and I can't find my little pictures. Maybe I already put them in here of the Shakespeare book place. I'm really loving this. So yes, I took a day off. I don't usually do that. I saw the beaver. We saw the beaver. My husband and I did yesterday, Curti. Uh, swimming all over our cove. And our football team won last night. The um, National College Football Championship. Well, it's not our school, but it's the other school in this, the other big school in this state. So, and they played Alabama again. And this time we beat Alabama. Last year, Alabama beat us. So, where are my little pictures? I have Shakespeare Book Company pictures. Ay, ay, ay. So, I think that's all the new news. My sister leaves tomorrow at noon. See any stray pictures, tiny pictures, Curti? So I don't 
don't know how much I'm going to be able to do. I was going to try to paint today. It's going to be 73. It's going to be gorgeous. But then it starts to get cold again. So it's no wonder we all have colds. My sister thinks she's caught a cold on the plane. So she's kind of laying low at my mom and dad's house, but because that's where she's staying, but she's got a mask on. But my other sister took the day off. I said, well, I've already run to the doctors and back. I'm going home for a little bit. So I'm here playing. Tell them I'm resting though. Don't, if you see one of them, tell them I'm really resting. Where the heck is my blankety blank picture? All right, I'm gonna fast forward now. Find my picture and get going. That's not it. Ugh. Okay, we'll get going here. Okay, so what am I doing? Um, everything is very awkward with this stupid hand, so I'm trying. I just tore um, the corner of that paper. It pained me, but I love the way it looks. And since I've lost it for like three years, I believe I'm just going to use the stuff I have and move forward, get over it and like them and enjoy looking at them once they go into another format, whatever format it might be, a traveler's notebook, a junk journal, whatever. I ended up not using that picture from a magazine to the left of me. Um, it has like a ghost man in there. I really thought that would be cool, especially what I ended up doing, but I didn't use it. Um, I am using a bunch of different washi tapes. Some are books. One is books. One is like the trolley that we had to take to get here to the bookstore. One is different scripts that look like they came out of a journal. And a lot of times I love getting used books and using those as journals. Um, and I love looking through used books and I keep a lot of used books, sorry. Keep a lot of used books and use them in everything. Um, I ended up using that Kelly Perky uh, piece of paper, cardstock. And it had, I didn't even realize it had green on one side and there's green in the junk journal section that was already established um, on the, that other side. So it all works. Everything happens for a reason. I can firmly believe that. Um, and I added it uh, as a tip in or whatever, an extra page, whatever you call this, with the book washi tape. I really cannot use my scissors. And I decided to use that other image from a magazine that had like a wall of books, which I think is so cool to cover up that other white section. And I ended up inking the edges to kind of make it blend a little more, um, tore off some of the white that was still there and covered up that. And I like the way that looks. There's washi tape, there's wall, um, Cavallini paper, wrapping paper, and then this magazine image on my piece of paper that was already there. So I love that. And now I am, look, I found my pictures finally. I tried to use the same collage app that I used and print them on my selfie. Uh, I'm having a rough time readjusting to the selfie only because I can't get the sizes I want. Um, I'll get there. I may end up printing um, some more pictures again that I have. Uh, and already printed, but I might print them in different sizes. So I took um, some of the stickers that I found the other day, uh, Florida de Lis, that is right there is Merce, Merce, Merce. Um, and then I have that green paint is the sap green kerchief that I got in New York um, at the art store. Uh, and I just wanted to cover up the white space and kind of use green that matches the green from the Kelly Perky paper. And then there's Pierre. I found him, um, I think from a flow magazine and I decided to use these books and that's where I cut off the camera because I can barely cut. All right. I changed some up a little bit and my finger is so sore. I can hardly cut tape. I can hardly glue. I can hardly write, but it took me a while. Therefore I didn't film it. Um, you saw me put all this down. You saw me put this down and paint this. I think you saw me paint this. Corti, this is my sap green from the bookstore in, or the paint store in New York. Did I go to Dick Blick's in New York? I think I did. Sap green made it to Paris. 
So I moved my little um, French man from over here to over here. And the, his name was Pierre, of course. He was our bookseller. And he was lovely little man with the best red beret and matching neck scarf. We spent hours in this bookstore, the Shakespeare bookstore, which has tons of new books, used books. They look kind of like this in all the different little rooms and cubby holes. But when we got back from our adventures of the evening, we um, were pilfering through our books and looking at them, and I found a note in my book. And it looks like it's a letter to a father from a girl, but then her sister or another member of her family that's female added on to the letter to the dad. So it says, Janine spent another day hiding in her book. And then that's all you see. And then in another girl's handwriting, it says, what Giselle didn't doesn't understand, so I guess Giselle is this girl's sister or another lady in their family. What Giselle doesn't understand is that my life is enriched by the characters I read about. The scene describing the pounding surf, the sea air, the thick fog, those elements all change the mood of Marie in my current read. So Daddy, when Janine tells you I'm hiding in my books, please know that currently I am at the seaside. Yesterday I was watching hippos float on the Nile, and tomorrow I might just be buying tapestries in Delhi while smelling the lovely spices at the market. I love you. Your daughter, Isabel. Oh, wasn't that a treasure? I'll never, ever, ever forget that and leave that, lose that. And I'll always have it in my journal, and I'll always remember that. That day that Curti and I ended up in the Shakespeare Book Company, I found that note in an old book. Love it. Love it. That's what you do with journals, people, right? Right. Okay, I'm going to go put my little splint back on my wing and take it easy. Because, you know, if you, if you have uh, maybe some kind of torn, not torn, but sprained possibly it tended in here painting and all that repetitive motion is really starting to hurt it that's my story <laughs> now I'm sticking to it but I got a video done and I love this spread and layout and love it Shakespeare Book Company Ooh, these got taped together I can't, see, I can't even use my scissors. Hardly. Okay. What is the prompt for tomorrow, Curti? Don't forget, you don't have to use these prompts. <gasps> the different quarters and neighborhoods. I've only actually been to a couple, but we'll work on that. We'll figure it out. Okay, I hope Giselle and Isabel and Marie are all okay. Was that her name? Jazz, Janine. Janine, Giselle, and Isabel are all okay. All right, see you all tomorrow.